Hi, boys and girls. We are reading in the Lesson 29 part of our California Journeys Grade 1 Unit 6 textbook. We're going to be reading, Hi, Fly Guy. And this is Fly Guy. And this is written by Ted Arnold. We don't have a picture of him, but he's an artist who also writes the words for his books. And he lives in New York with his one dog, his two sons, his three cats, and his wife named Carol. His wife named Carol. So before we do that, let's go ahead and look at another picture of a fly. Here's Fly Guy, and he's like a filth fly, the kind that goes around eating trash and manure and all and dead things. He's a filth fly. But this is just like a the kind of fly that eats flowers. And flies, like filth flies, are considered pests, you know, because they can carry diseases from the from the things that they eat. Um, but this one just eats flowers. Maybe farmers would consider him a, a, a pest. That's all I want to say about that, other than that, than that he is an insect. Flies are insects. So insects have six legs, and they normally have wings, but some of them, like ants, don't have wings, except for their queens. So I want to talk a little bit about insects, a quick little little activity on insects. We'll call it science. Where did I put it? Hmm, right here. Okay, let's just move this out of the way. How many legs do insects have? Insects have six legs. So we're just going to quickly sort these. Okay, let's look at this snail. The snail just has one foot right there. So it's not an insect. Insects have six legs. An ant. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, it's an insect. Squirrel. Nope, it's not an insect. It has four legs. Butterfly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. It's an insect. And butterfly's an insect. Fly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, a fly's an insect. Dragonfly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so, so it's like insects are bugs with six legs. A mosquito. I see six legs. Beetle. A beetle's an insect. It has six legs. Raccoon, one, two, three, four. A raccoon has four legs. It's not an insect. I knew that because it wasn't a bug. Okay, how about this bee? Is a bee an insect? Yes, it is. We'll put them down here. How about a fox? Not an insect. Ladybug? Insect. Because she has six legs. Owl, now obviously birds are not insects, plus they only have two feet. Spider, oh, that's a tricky one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, a spider is not an insect. It's a bug, but it's not an insect. A worm, it's small like an insect. Is it an insect? Does it have six legs? No, it has no legs, so it's not an insect. And how about this grasshopper? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, it's an insect. For the rest of your life, remember, an insect has six legs. Okay, so I think that's our science lesson that goes with this lesson. Okay, let's go ahead and read. Hi, fly guy. Okay. <gasps> what? This is a chapter book? That means that... It's organized into smaller parts. And so each chapter is going to have a different part of the story. So let's, I wonder what this chapter is going to be about. And so after we read this chapter, there'll be another part of the story. Okay, chapter one. A fly went flying. He was looking for something to eat. Something tasty. Something slimy. A boy went walking. He was looking for something to catch. Something smart. Something for the amazing pet show. 
Okay, so the fly is looking for something to eat, and the boy is looking for something to catch, something to take to that amazing pet show. Zzz, boom, zzz, zzz, boink. That says boink. They met. The boy caught the fly in a jar. A pet, he said. So did he find a pet? Yes, it says the boy caught the fly in a jar. And then he said, a pet. So yes, he caught the pet he wanted for his amazing pet show. The fly was mad. He wanted to be free. He stomped his foot and said, buzz. The boy was surprised. He said, you know my name. You are the smartest pet in the world. Oh, his name must be Buzz. <gasps> Chapter 2. What does that mean? That means that we get to hear the next part of the story. Okay. Buzz took the fly home. This is my pet, Buzz said to Mom and Dad. He is smart. He can say my name. Listen. So he takes off the lid. Bzzz. Buzz opened the jar. The fly flew out. Flies can flies can't be pets, said Dad. They are pests. He got the fly swatter. The fly cried, Buzz! And Buzz came to the rescue. Look at how the fly flew onto his nose. And the, the fly's pretty smart, isn't he? He knows that Dad's not going to bonk his own son on the nose with the fly swatter. You are right, said Dad. This fly is smart. Okay. He needs a name, said Mom. Buzz thought for a minute. Fly Guy, said Buzz. And Fly Guy said, Buzz. It was time for lunch. Buzz gave Fly Guy something to eat. Fly Guy was happy. Oh, now the fly is happy. He's not mad to be in the jar. Because look, the jar has a hot dog in it. Okay, oh, another chapter. That means we get to hear the next part of the story. And I'll bet this is going to be about the amazing pet show. I'll bet you it is. Do you guys think that Fly Guy is a good name for him? I do, because Guy means boy, and he's a boy fly, and it rhymes. Fly Guy. I think Fly Guy is a good name for him. And look how they capitalize his name. Here's his first name. Here's his last name. Fly Guy. Okay, let's read this. I'll read it to you, actually. I'm reading it for you right now. Chapter 3, The Amazing Pet Show. Buzz took Fly Guy to the Amazing Pet Show. What? A fly is going to be part of a pet show? The, what? The judges laughed. Flies can't be pets, they said. Flies are pests. So look at them laughing at him, calling him a pest. And you know what? These filth flies normally are pests. Buzz was sad. He opened the jar. Shoo, fly guy, he said. Flies can't be pets.
But Fly Guy liked Buzz. He had an idea. He did some fancy flying. Okay, there he is. Let's go. Imagine being the judges and you saw that fancy flying. Imagine that. Can you see that? The judges were amazed. The fly can do tricks, they said. But flies can't be pets. Then Fly Guy said, Buzz. The judges were more amazed. The fly knows the boy's name, they said. But flies can't be pets. Fly Guy flew high, high, high into the sky. Oh my goodness, look how high he flew. Now remember, the judges are looking at him. They're probably like having to strain their necks way up just to see how high he's going. Then he dived down, down, down into the jar. <sighs> what? He flew all the way from outer space and then dove of all the places he could have gone on the whole planet. He dove straight into that jar. The fly knows his jar, the judges said. This fly is a pet. They let Fly Guy in the show. What? Looks like all these animals have awards. He even won an award. So what award does he win? Smartest pet. Oh, because he can talk and say his name, do fancy tricks. He knows how to dive straight into his jar from outer space. And look, how does Buzz feel about him winning? Is he happy? <gasps> What would you think if you went to a pet show and a fly one? Oh my goodness. And so began a beautiful friendship. Okay. I think we're going to skip the questions because we've already spent enough time on this story. We'll read it again tomorrow. Bye-bye.